Welcome to our English class. I am teacher Gabriel Bayona and this is Aprendo en Casa. Si tuvieras enfrente una infografía en inglés sobre COVID-19, ¿la podrías comprender? ¿Cómo se explican los síntomas de esta enfermedad en inglés? ¿Cómo puedo explicarle a alguien en inglés cómo prevenir el contagio? En este video, nuestro propósito es comprender qué es y cuáles son los síntomas. Identificar cómo evitar el contagio de COVID-19 en inglés. Elaborar una infografía en inglés sobre cómo prevenir la COVID-19. Let's check vocabulary. What does contagious mean in Spanish? It means... What does infectious mean in Spanish? It means... What does wear health mean in Spanish? It means... Luego de identificar nuestro vocabulario, observarás unas imágenes las cuales debes unir a la frase que corresponda. Listen to the audios and match to the correct picture. COVID-19 is very contagious. We need to protect ourselves. You must wear a mask. COVID-19 is the infectious disease caused by a recently discovered type of coronavirus. COVID-19 is a pandemic because it is a world health problem. Let's read together. COVID-19, Thailand and world. On alert. Act responsibly. Good personal hygiene save global health. Avoid crowded areas. Clean hands with soap and water or alcohol-based hand rub. Consume properly cooked food. Wear surgical masks. Avoid unprotected contact with live, wild, or farm animals. Después de haber leído la primera infografía, responderás una serie de preguntas indicando la alternativa que consideras correcta para cada una de ellas. Number one, which organization or institution created infographic number one? Option A, World Health Organization. Option B, U.S. Asian Institute. Option C, Thailand's Embassy. Yes, the correct option is letter C, Thailand's Embassy. Number two, what information does infographic one give you? Option A. Symptoms of COVID-19 Option B Reasons why you should stay at home and not go out Option C Tips or instructions to avoid getting COVID-19 You have 10 seconds to mark the right answer. You can start now. Stop! Time's over! The right answer is... Number three. According to infographic number one, we never need to wear a mask. Option A. True. Option B. False. Option C. There is no information. You have 10 seconds to mark the right answer. You can start now. Stop! Time's over! The right answer is... Number four. According to infographic number one, we should avoid crowded areas. Option A. True. Option B. 
false? Option C. There is no information. You have 10 seconds to mark the right answer. You can start now. Stop! Time's over! The right answer is... Number 5. What does Infographic 1 say about animals? Choose the best sentence. Letter A. Avoid living with animals. Letter B. Avoid all contact with your pet. Letter C. Avoid touching animals. Letter D. Avoid contact with wild or far animals without protection. You have 10 seconds to mark the right answer. You can start now. Stop! Time's over! The right answer is... Finally, number 6. What is the main or general message in Infographic 1? Letter A. Avoid contact with all animals. Letter B. Be alert and act responsibly. Letter C. Wash your hands with soap. And letter D. Clean your hands all the time. You have 10 seconds to mark the right answer. You can start now. Stop! Time's over! The right answer is... Wow! You did it perfectly! Congratulations! Let's read together! Have a look in this infographic. Read it. Symptoms of Coronavirus COVID-19 Now the symptoms of COVID-19, which can include the following. Fever Cough Shortness of breath Muscle pain Shortness of breath or difficulty breathing Sword throat New loss of taste or smell Seek medical care immediately if someone has emergency warning signs of COVID-19 Symptoms can range from mild to severe illness and appear 2 to 14 days after you are exposed to the virus that causes COVID-19. Trouble breathing Persistent pain or pressure in the chest New confusion Inability to wake or stay awake Bluish lips or face this list is not all possible symptoms. Please call your medical provider for any other symptoms that you are severe or concerning to you. Después de haber leído la segunda infografía, responderás una serie de preguntas marcando la alternativa que consideras correcta para cada una de ellas. Number one. In general, what kind of information does Infographic 2 give you? Letter A. Tips to take care of your pet. Letter B. Tips to have fun at home during quarantine. Letter C. How to clean your food. Letter D. The symptoms of COVID-19. You have 10 seconds to mark the right answer. You can start now. Stop! Time's over! The right answer is... Number 2. According to Infographic 2, the symptoms of COVID-19 are A. 
fever, cough, and headache. B. Cough, shortness of breath, and running nose. C. Fever, cough, and shortness of breath. You have 10 seconds to mark the right answer. You can start now. Stop! Time's over! The right answer is... Number 3. According to Infographic 2, you should seek medical advice if you develop symptoms. Letter A. True. Letter B. False. Letter C. There is no information about it. You have 10 seconds to mark the right answer. You can start now. Stop! Time's over! The right answer is... Number 4. According to Infographic 2, you need to eat a lot of fruit and vegetables to stay healthy. Option A. True. Option B. False. Option C. There is no information about it. You have 10 seconds to mark the right answer. You can start now. Stop! Time's over! The right answer is... Number 5. According to the infographic 2, how many days do the symptoms take appear after exposure to COVID-19? Letter A. Exactly 2 days. Letter B. Between 2 and 14 days. Letter C. Between 7 and 30 days. Letter D. Symptoms appear immediately after exposure. You have 10 seconds to mark the right answer. You can start now. Stop! Time's over! The right answer is... Wow, you did it perfectly. Congratulations. Now, use of English. Responderás dos preguntas en inglés sobre el tiempo en el que están escritas las infografías, pasado, presente o futuro, y el tipo de palabra con las que se inician las frases expuestas en la infografía. Number one. The information in infographics one and two is written in tense, past, present, or future? Yes, the answer is present. Number two. In infographic one, the sentence with the tips or instructions start with an adjective, a verb, or a noun? Yes, the answer is a verb. En conclusión, Toda infografía está escrita en tiempo presente. Además, estos inician con un verbo. Cuando quieres tú escribir oraciones en tu infografía, recuerda que siempre vas a iniciar con el verbo en tiempo presente. Por ejemplo, go to bed early. Go está en su forma normal. Y estoy utilizando el complemento to bed early, ir a la cama temprano. Eat vegetables, comer vegetales. Eat, el verbo en su forma presente. Y vegetables es mi complemento. Use gloves when it gets cold. Utiliza guantes cuando sientes frío. Entonces, use es mi verbo. Y gloves when it gets cold será mi complemento. De la misma manera, vas a crear tú cinco ideas, cinco tips para que las personas se puedan cuidar y proteger del COVID. Por ejemplo, puedo decir, clean your house. Limpia tu casa. Es muy importante en este momento la limpieza. Eat fruit. Come frutas. 
la alimentación es sumamente importante para poder tener un sistema inmunológico fuerte. Make your bed. Haz tu cama, tiende tu cama. Es importante, es parte de la limpieza. Vamos, te reto. Haz cinco ideas para que luego las consideres en tu reto. Let's create. Finalmente, el reto de la semana es la siguiente. Debes elaborar una infografía con instrucciones o tips para evitar contagiarse de COVID-19. Busca imágenes que puedas usar para reforzar el mensaje que darás en la infografía. Puedes dibujar, tomar imágenes de internet, hacer recortes o utilizar fotos. Aquí ya no podrás usar las imágenes que están en la infografía que te hemos presentado. Si tienes computadora e internet, puedes crear tu infografía utilizando un documento nuevo de Word o PowerPoint. También puedes hacerlo a mano. Usa toda tu creatividad, ya sean dibujos, imágenes cortadas de revistas o periódicos o en una combinación de ambos. Usa toda tu imaginación para elaborar tu infografía sobre cómo evitar contagiarse de COVID-19. Recuerda que en tu infografía se va a evaluar lo siguiente. Por lo menos debe tener 5 tips para prevenir el contagio del COVID-19. Recuerda siempre utilizar imágenes que sean fáciles de entender. De igual manera, el lenguaje que tú vas a utilizar. La información sobre el COVID-19 debe ser real. La información que te hemos brindado también debe ser incluida. Finalmente, tu infografía debe ser atractiva. That's it for today, class. It was a pleasure to be with you. No te olvides de suscribirte y dejar tus comentarios. See you next class. Goodbye. Take care.